Good morning, Father Jeff Henry here for St. Michael Catholic Community at Traverse Air Force Base on Monday, 19 October. And you'll notice those who have been here that I'm in the chapel at Twin Peaks. And this is where we have a mass now indoors. Of course, we're uh, observing all of the protocols for, for COVID, but it's nice being here sometimes just by myself, just a thought to think and meditate. We just had a baptism here. Uh, this morning, which was very nice as well. But I wanted to share with you some things from today's Gospel for Mass, and it's very uh, interesting and a helpful reminder by Jesus Christ. Listen to what Jesus says here. Take care to guard against all greed, for though one may be rich, one's life does not consist of possessions. And I like that. Though one may be rich, one's life does not consist of possessions. One could also say, if one is poor, one's life does not consist of lack of possessions. Jesus is giving us a different perspective on what life is all about. You know, sometimes it's like this. I find myself thinking about, let's say that it's Wednesday. Oh, I've got just a few more days until I have a day off. And then uh, when I start rolling around to time for leave or vacation time, oh, pretty soon I'll be able to be, to be out and gone and go doing fun stuff. Or, oh, if I can just save so much money that I can buy this house or this or that or replace my dishwasher or whatever it is. We're constantly living for what we don't have. That's what the difficulty of food is about. You ever think about that? We're always going after that. Per I used to try to make the perfect omelet or <laughs> whatever. We're looking for the perfect meal, the dinner, this, that, the perfect wine. It's always something uh, a lot down the road or else what if we do possess it, we won't be satisfied or else we're realizing that if we are satisfied, there's something wrong with us if that's what our life consists of, it's just what we can possess. So then what does life consist of if it's not these things? What is life about for you? The first thing that comes to my mind is my relationship with God. God is the most important thing. That's what it's supposed to be because God enriches everything. If we have a good relationship with God, if we understand God by our experience and through our reading of scripture and through our, our participation in the sacraments, all of a sudden, everything in our lives is as if it goes from black and white to color. Everything then has purpose. Everything then has meaning. After that, God just says this, seek first this kingdom. Seek God first and all these other things that you need will be added to you. God will meet all of our needs as we seek God's help, God's will, in living the kind of life that which we're called to. And that's the benefit. And then the other things, the wonderful things like family, nature, and enjoyment of all the many gifts, it takes its proper perspective because then they become not just isolated things by which we live, but an understanding of the blessing and the presence of God in our lives. Then that glass of wine or that... I don't know, don't, don't be a scandalized, or that good cigar, if you occasionally have a cigar, then it becomes nothing more than an evidence of God's joy being given to you on a special occasion. Then everything is in context, everything has purpose, everything is holy. Let's have a word of prayer. Heavenly Father, we do commend ourselves to you. We pray that we may have Christ. And then when we have him, we have everything. In whose name we pray, amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. God bless you. I hope that you have a great day. Isn't this a beautiful sanctuary and a beautiful church? Talk to you later.